There are two load boards, the biggest companies in the market right now, you know, current dispatchers, they know, and you guys should know, uh, you know, a perspective, I would say dispatchers, the truckstop.com and the DAT, two biggest, I would say. The, well, I know they are the biggest companies. They're small companies out there, but pretty much the same user interface, you know, almost the same thing. So the what I prefer and my it's my personal preference is the truckstop.com I think is the best. I don't know. Well well I would say the D8 I use the DAT power and I will be uh, showing you what is DAT power and then other subscriptions. And um, but I prefer truckstop.com and I you know do my business or I run my business about 80% of the time you know from this only one particular load board. That being said, let's do uh, well, well. Let's go over the uh, products. When you do load board, um, you basically have these options out there. Uh, so we have a basic version, right? And then we have advanced version and then the pro version. Uh, in this uh, truckstop.com, I have the pro version, and there's a reason. I will show you when I log in. And this this is the per much, and these are the per month. Uh, cost is per month there's a load searching truck lane posting uh, where you post your trucks and then you search for loads pretty much very basic and then uh, advanced and then the pro version so the next the biggest uh, company I would say very competitive company is the DAT so DAT has um, uh, I would say uh, three uh, different subscriptions uh, which is 34 uh, 95 and then you move uh, or upgrade to next which is 49.95 and then the truckers age pro what i have right now is a professional uh, 99.95 and these are the uh, comparisons so you can uh, see um, which one you prefer but i will be introducing of course many um, many of you maybe don't know about or not familiar with the load board so we'll go over so that will make sense so let's log in to uh, the uh, truckstop.com so when you log in when you have your credentials I mean login credentials you basically see this right so remember when I said why I'm using the uh, pro version is because uh, see it's, it says your device is connected and it's a live feed live feed is basically means when brokers post loads it it appears here right away you know in other I would say subscriptions uh, I think it takes like about a minute to uh, pop up uh, on your search but this one is the uh, live feed you know brokers post and you can see it right away and, and this is why it's really expensive it's about $150 per month now when you log in because this is i would say the limited or the mini course so i will keep very simple but you know it will be really really important information see when you when you log in you need two things you need searching and posting when it comes to searching is searching the loads right so you will be moving from point a to point b and then posting you will be posting your trucks let's say you are in Dayton, Ohio, right? And you have trucks in Day around Dayton, Ohio. You post my truck in Dayton, Ohio, and going to maybe I don't know, maybe Florida, maybe um, Los Angeles, California. So you'll be posting your trucks. So let's cover these first, okay? So when you log in, you don't have any searches. And by the way, you can call them and they have really good uh, training videos and then they will walk you through over the uh, over the phone or you can do the live chat support. It's They're really, really supportive. Both of them, they are. And you will do the uh, new search. When you click to new search, the uh, this window pops up. <laughs> In this video, I mean, this uh, particular window will pop up uh, I, I would say every day, every single day, maybe several uh, several times, because you will be adjusting your searches. So I'll I'll be giving you information based upon my business. So I'm currently doing this, and then I will show you what I do, how I do, so you can learn from it. And 
the three most important sections on this particular window is the origin origin of your trucks and radius right and then the destination where your trucks goes and then the equipment type remember when i said equipment there's load board tools and equipment see equipment is really important so why you need to infor uh, put this information you know here because the truckstep.com is really big load i would say database the thousands hundreds of thousands of uh, loads out there so this video will i mean this window will um will give you the exact matches, right? It will pull those loads, uh, which DAT, I mean, the uh, trackers, uh, truckstop.com thinks that it's very relevant to your, uh, to your needs or to your searches. Let's keep it simple. And then uh, origin, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. When I do Atlanta, Georgia, um, I have two options, basically by state, or I would say uh, by city. If I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and my driver, and I know my driver in Atlanta, Georgia, I would say 300 mi radius, 250 mile radius, and 300, it's very standard. I mean, many people do this, um, it's 250 miles radius. It basically means your truck in Atlanta, Georgia, and he can move 250 mile radius to pick up a load and then go to uh, deliver it okay so for that i'll do atlanta georgia okay uh, atlanta georgia and then i will put radius 250 okay so and the destination i have okay let's uh, in this case put um, states so if i'm in atlanta georgia i'll be going to let's say arkansas louisiana uh, Oklahoma and Texas area okay and then when I do uh, uh, when I do I can do multiple or I can do single uh, state post and then as far as equipment what I have I have a step deck so I'll be giving you more information about the uh, when when we do when we will come down to lesson three where's equipment I will give you more information about it uh, but keep this very simple this is the trailer type the trailer type is the step deck it's basically there's a flat open trailer but this one has the step on it it's it this is why it calls a step deck but you know uh, most people say it's a, a single drop uh, trailer but in the market step deck tra trailer well known it's very specialized trailer so I do uh, SD which is step deck and uh, step deck load can also come with the loading ramps i will show you uh, again when we come down to equipment i'll show you the ramps so we uh, get uh, the idea about the ramps too so i'll do uh, step deck with loading ramps i have this equipment and then let's see because uh, i'm recording this as uh, december 28th um, there i would say uh, it's new year happy new year guys uh, I would do searches like today uh, and then Saturday, uh, Sunday, and then I would say Monday. When you click uh, add and close, it basically magic will happen. So the loads from Atlanta, Georgia, and we'll go in those areas that we um, selected, which is Arkansas, uh, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and uh, Texas. Right now, a total of 68 loads, you know, going from Atlanta, Georgia, 250 mile radius, going to um, these uh, air areas, which is uh, four states. And it's unusual, like 68 loads uh, for this particular lane is because of the uh, new year, you know, year ends. But um, this is, uh, th these are the loads that we have going from this, uh, location uh, to other states so I really want you to pay attention from starting company like from here like phone trailer um, age mode pickup until I would say the experience you don't have to uh, worry about this and then do the, the uh, these two um, 
which is clear and then the uh, what is it the bond you don't have to pay attention to that but the company is really important because you will be taking loads from the companies and then you will get uh, used to that as well uh, because they're uh, uh, good paying I would say brokers for broker companies and then of course they're the companies that don't pay uh, as much and then their phone numbers really important and then the trailer so uh, this coast to coast uh, brokers company uh, and I mean brokerage company they have a step deck uh, and edge it's showing that the the load was posted the time of the load posted so it's about uh, 17 minutes it's been uh, it's been posted for 17 minutes and then the mode mode is basically tl means truck load which is full load and then the ptl which is the partial load okay so here's the pickup location i mean the pickup time and then we have the pickup location which is origin city so where your truck from where your truck going to where so mebelton georgia um, you know, because I posted like Atlanta, Georgia, it gives me the distance from Atlanta, Georgia to Mabelton, uh, Georgia is about 13 or 15 miles. And then destination, um, we didn't put any specific, uh, I would say, um, city, but we did uh, states. So it gives you like, see, these are the Texas loads, San Antonio, La Corpus Christi. And then these are the distance, okay? It's all zero because again, we didn't give like specific uh, city. Um, so the rate uh, rates are basically can be from you know best paying loads and then it will be less paying loads I would say when you click the rate so see it will be like uh, from ascending from uh, to to down to descending and then you can do the vice versa like descending to ascending and then uh, this one is particularly focused RPM is rate per mile Okay, so uh, you will know your expenses, of course, your revenue, and you'll when you uh, when you know your numbers. So these numbers will make sense. So basically, they said, okay, from from this location to this location, uh, it costs you like 2.26 per mile, and this, of course, the length, but and then the weight, um, and then this one is the uh, uh, day to pay, how many days it takes. Uh, to pay to the uh, I would say the, the, the carriers company or the factoring companies will go uh, more into factoring companies as well this is the uh, I would say the rating they have um, sometimes uh, you know the rating uh, it's not accurate I would say I will explain more in detail in other videos but let's say you're interested in this load coming from Jefferson, Georgia to Plainview, Texas. When you click, you have more information, okay? So when you have more information, it basically gives you the posted rate. See, it's a posted rate. It's not the actual rate or I would say um, the ultimate rate. So it means that there's a room for negotiation. Okay, so Jefferson, Georgia is the origin and the destination is the Plainview, Texas. It's very simple. And as you can see, it's a pickup date is from uh, uh, 12 29, which is tomorrow. And it gives you the equipment type, it's step deck, and it's mode, as I said, you know, it's a truckload. I would say pay attention more in weight. So, because there's a limited uh, trucks and trailers, they are limited. Uh, as far as you know uh, transporting the weight the maximum weight that I have is a 45,000 in my trailer right I need to keep less than 45,000 and um, so I would say pay special attention to um, the special information and it says it has two extra stops right so you will be calculating okay if I take from Atlanta Georgia or Jefferson Georgia and it goes to Plainview but between we have two stops you need to uh, calculate um, the I would say the mileage and we have uh, posting company who are they uh, this is the name of the brokerage company and this is the user and contact basically it's a contact information where you can call them and negotiate with them this is the broker mc just in case if you wanted to uh, track down this broker specific uh, brokerage company are they good are they paying on time um, those kind of things and these are the decision tools i don't use as much but it's you can see that 
uh, uh, the last, I would say, uh, 30 to 15 days, you know, um, the load was posted below 2000. So they pay, I would say, decent, uh, I would say, amount for uh, this particular load because it extra two steps and because it's a, a new year. Okay, so down here we have uh, uh, their ratings. Okay, so uh, they paid uh, on December fifth. Uh, they paid like it, like it take twenty two days to pay them, and then eighteen days, and it pretty much uh, truckstop.com trucking uh, their uh, I would say paying behavior so that you can know that these guys paying on time so you can rely on these. Okay. And that being said, this basically wraps up the uh, truckstop.com is very, very simple, but I would say you'll be learning more by using this load board. As I said, you know, we need uh, or you need only two things like searching and posting. So as far as searching goes, it's pretty much simple. As I said earlier that it's, you know, it's simple. Sometimes we make things hard, but Becoming a truck dispatcher is not that hard. Basically, you log in every day and you see this load board and you get experience and you get, you know, better at it. So, uh, posting is the, another uh, section, I would say, the posting your trucks. Uh, posting is really important um, because most of, the, uh, most of the brokers or most of the time, I would say, uh, brokers don't post their loads, they go and search for the trucks okay and uh, if you posted your trucks they will see it okay so posting trucks is actually it's the same thing uh, it's it's a new post right uh, we did new search but this one is a new post so you're doing pretty much the same thing as Atlanta uh, I would say Georgia right from Atlanta Georgia my truck will go uh, about like 250 miles radius and this is a step deck step deck it's enough and when it comes to, uh, I would say, if you have tarps, uh, like special uh, equipment to uh, run this uh, trailer, like ramps, right? So uh, ramps, you have straps, you have chains and binders. You can um, uh, type that down here where it's a special notes. And going, I would say, you know, my truck goes to in these areas, which is area six, I mean the area seven, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Texas. And then we do the select. So my truck will be available. The availability is really important. I will do today and I will do Saturday and I will do Sunday and then Monday, right? And then post and see loads, I will just kind of close, right? So that, you know, if brokers search for the trucks, they will see uh, my uh, truck. So this, basically it you know it's it's very simple but when it comes down to searching loads um, the negotiation tactic that I said you know you will see some numbers right but one main thing is that you need to know your numbers okay so how much you want to make per month and how much it costs to uh, operate your business right so when you call the broker the one of the um, uh, tactics that I have is I would say this way I have dispatchers and I have many dispatchers you know that I trained here in my office what they do is when they call when I, when I show them how to call and how to speak with them and they know how to use the load words and they call brokers they call brokers and they ask okay so this lane goes uh, from Hamilton Georgia to San Antonio right and there's no rate what they do is they, they call them, right? It pretty much goes something like this. And they click and they see, okay, there's origin, destination. Okay, they have a space. It's, you know, uh, it's 48 length. We have a 53 step deck or a flatbed. And uh, down here, they have a special note. It's all legal load, okay? You don't have to worry about it. Okay, just call me and I will give you the uh, uh, pricing information. When they call and broker says, okay, you such and such you know hey dispatcher how can I help and they said okay I see your posted load you know from Mableton Georgia to San Antonio Texas you know I'm interested in whatever 
and then he says okay this you know it picks up in the December 31st okay and can be delivered within two to three days depends on uh, the mileage okay and he will give you the information uh, he will give you the price or the rate for this particular load and he will say something like okay I'll give you um, 1500 or 2500 okay so what um, the dispatcher do uh, or what dispatcher uh, does is you know you will calculate okay so if miles actually it's 994 okay my you know truck in Atlanta Georgia it will go to my Belton Georgia we said about 13 miles up to 15 miles so adding up roughly it's thousand miles Okay, so thousand miles it will you know multiply by whatever that number is the, the cost uh, per mile the I would say the targeted uh, or target uh, cost per mile and then basically calculate and say okay I have this number well two thousand will be enough for me for this load and then it will say okay can you give me the twenty one hundred for this one or twenty two for this one and brokers usually about eighty percent of the time they say why why should I give you well there's no such a thing nothing you know something for nothing right so you, you need to have some tactics to ask the broker for more money it's not like about begging for money so this broker wants you to move this load but you are asking more money but in his mind there's a question why is there any extra cost to moving this load or why are you asking this and I would say one tactic is give them, give them the reason. It's been tested, I've been doing it for about eight years, I know, give them a reason. So there's two scenarios. One is when you have this, Mabelton, Georgia to San Antonio, I said, okay, give me 2200, I'll, I'll do it, right? And then you have another version of asking, which is a tactic. Well, I would usually do something like, hey, you know, I'll pick up this today or tomorrow, and deliver within two to three days okay and I will do this for 22 or 23 hundred dollars what that makes sense in his mind there's a reason okay this guy will pick up today or tomorrow and he will safely deliver within two to three days well of course there's a reason I'm willing to give you a couple hundred dollars more because of that you know or because of those reasons that you gave me it makes sense you know this one particular I would say the tactic it changed my uh, I would say uh, business or uh, I would say my uh, basically changed my life I'm, I'm very honest with you well asking or negotiating with brokers is very important like 200 you know uh, $200 from this broker and $200 from that broker at the end of the year it, it like thousands of dollars right one of my uh, friends told me he's a dispatcher from Dayton, Ohio, and he said that you know he calculated uh, the extra um, bucks that he got from uh, brokers. He got like thirty-seven, uh, uh, thirty-seven thousand dollars from just asking more. Well, yeah, of course that he has about eleven trucks, but you know asking for money, well, there's a ninety percent of the chance that you know they will give you money if if you give. Uh, the reason why you're asking so this is uh, pretty much wraps up the um, truckstop.com and the truckers age is the same thing well different user interface but when it comes to searching loads and credentials it's, it's it's the same thing you know they have you know see post trucks and then of course they have uh, search loads um, you know they have origin they have a destination and they have what type of uh, trailers so the, the next lesson will be the tools and then we'll cover more uh, equipment so this particular um, uh, I would say uh, the lesson will make more sense okay and then we'll see in the next video which is tools